Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 27 of the Lico Day Challenge. Do we have a weekly challenge? Nope, that's tomorrow. All right, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Um, pretty cool, pretty chill day today for me. I, what did I do? Oh yeah, I spent about two, two and a half hours at the gym. Just working on like bench and a lot of prehabbing, rehabbing, all these things. And then I just ran like seven miles or something. So not not a tough day, easy miles. So yeah, hmm. so I'm okay. But I do I have to wake up pretty early tomorrow to go for another one with buddies. So let's see how today goes. All right, today we have twenty nine seventy six minimum cost to convert string one. Mm, okay. We're given two zero index strings and um, basically original change and the cost. Okay, do, can the pairs. Uh, uh, what is this? Why did they say J first here? So, okay, so there could be duplicate, is the thing, is what they're saying. Um, and, but they cannot be the same. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the same as yesterday's, right? In a way. Um, um, in that, basically the idea is that, okay, sorry. My brain is like... Uh, not so great today, but uh, yeah, but the idea here is that okay, like for each, it's a pairwise um, thing, right? Because all the all the characters are one one letters, or all the all the the transformations are one letter. So that means that you, the best you can do is one at a time, right? And so yeah, and then it's just kind of I don't, I wouldn't call it greedy, but it's just like some of its component, right? Like some of B going to C, C going to B, which I guess is the same. Uh, yeah. I, Oh wait, no, I guess that is asymmetric actually, so maybe I'm wrong here. But, and D going to E. Right? And yeah, and there are a couple of ways you can do it. Right? And this becomes the shortest path because there may not be a direct path from say B to C. Well, in this case there is. I don't know if there's an example where there is. I mean, yeah, in this case, you go A to C and C to B, but so you have to do it both times, right? So yeah, so very straightforward, and this is an all pierce shortest path, right? Which is kind of what we talked about yesterday, which is Ford Warshaw. Um, keeping in mind that I would say Ford Warshaw is a pretty tight uh, recube, right? Uh, I think I didn't talk about this yesterday in, enough about why you would choose Ford Warshaw. In this case, uh, Ford Warshaw is just honestly just simple to type, but also. Um, the constant is way low, right? It's just three for loop and an if statement, pretty much. So it's it's you know it's very ideal and easy to implement, uh, and and you can also note that it does not depend on y, which is you know I didn't omit it. It is intentional, um, which is also very good for a dense graph because you know. But yeah, uh, it's, but you could also have done this with uh, like same as yesterday, which is Dijkstra, right? Uh, I mean I didn't do it yesterday, but but you could do it all all pairs from that. Right, and then that's gonna be v times v log in theory v, but let's just say y. It doesn't it shouldn't matter that much. It's just we call that y is at most v square anyway. But uh, but yeah. So if if however if y is raised uh, high, then you know then it gets the and then the constants also matter, right? Because there's just so, so much more code to write, but and that code. Even though obviously code length isn't um, always one to one with the number of operations, but it just they're more constant because you're doing more things, right? Per loop, so there's stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So basically, yeah. Let, let's just create the distance matrix again, right? And in this case, it's going to be letter to letter, so it's going to be up to, uh, 26 to 26, or the size of the alphabet, I suppose, which in this case is 26, right? So maybe we start with infinity, right? Times uh, alpha, which is twenty six. Let's just call it alpha, right? And then yeah, and then wow, 
I think I think in theory you can always do something like this uh, to kind of be like but it doesn't always matter or always work it depends on the problem I think I, I've done in the past I've done this out of autopilot just because I've always done it and then it bit me in the butt a couple of times on, on like very weird specific problems and I stopped doing it and then that also bit me in the butt before in another contest where I just forgot to do it uh, and I didn't forgot to think about it so I don't know so I, I try to be more deliberate about it now but in this case I don't think it matters because you never go uh, it never comes up uh, in this particular case so it should be okay and then now you have for original to change in and actually huh this is a very weird thing but okay fine uh, oh, mm, original okay let's just say source and target maybe that's a little bit and cost in zip of original change cost right and we call that these are characters and C is the cost so then you have something like um, I wish there's an easier way to write this, but in any case, it's just I just subtracted from the distance to the character A, right? So yeah, so this is U maybe, and V is going to be the same thing, but for T, and then you just plug it right in. Pretty straightforward. And in this case, it is asymmetric, so you don't do the the inverse. And of course, now we do. Uh, uh, Pretty. St I don't know why I'm stu uh, stuttering and like slow today, but eh, it is what it is. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. But yeah. Um, oops. Now we do the Floyd Walsh component, right? And yeah, and, and this is I don't know. I, I I've done this so many times that you know it is it is in a way like autopilot. Um, but you know. But, ooh. But it is still easy to make a typo, as you almost see. Um, yeah. And then now we just have to sum up all the cost, right? So total is equal to zero. And then for um, ST in SIP of source and target, so one character at a time. If S is equal to T, we continue. Otherwise, then, you know, uh, we have total, we add it by. You know, Eh, maybe u is equal to same thing. Maybe this should be a helper function, but I don't know, whatever. Oops. Somehow I'll still make a typo and luckily call it this time. But yeah, just going from u, u, u to v, and that should be good. Um, I think there is a thing about it not being reachable, right? So the only way this is not reachable is this is still infinity, so I think that should be okay, right? So if distance of u v is infinity, then we return negative one or something, something like that. Uh, yeah. For this is good. Let's give it a quick submit, mostly because I'm lazy. Uh, oh, dong dong dong! Did I mess this up? I mean, clearly I did, but maybe I just misunderstood the problem. Uh, I got it right the first time last time, so. Huh. What is this? Uh, I mean, I'm, I must. That's kind of wild because I'm off by a lot. I don't know if I'm missing some understanding or something. Let's reread the problem. Maybe I just misunderstood some of it. In one operation, at the cost, if there are any such index j such that cost. This is such a weird way of phrasing it, but okay, fine. I mean, I kind of skimmed over this one, so maybe I did kind of got it confused, but it seems like I'm off by a lot. Oh, 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 I, uh, is that silly case that we talked about, but then I forgot, <laughs> which is this part, right? So, okay, so it's equal to uh, min of, uh, I mean, we talked, I was like, I, I don't know why I'm so careless. I feel kind of, I don't know, am I distracted? I guess so. I don't know. I don't know why I'm like... Like, the thing is is that, like, um, I don't know. Because we even talked about it. I was like, oh, keeping in mind that uh, we have to take a min of this because there could be duplicates. And then I checked the bounds and stuff like this. And I, I don't know why I forgot. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Uh, it's kind of bad, to be honest. 
，就 sloppy, 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 sloppy. 哼，我真是 pretty, 嗯 ，I don't know. Not great though. But uh, but yeah, this is oh and oh、uh, sorry, this is O of alpha cube plus O of n. Can't really do better than O of n because well, I mean. You could, you could、uh, n is a lazy way of saying it. So maybe n is the the length of these strings,、uh, and then o I don't know y is the number of these edges. So then this is o of y, this is o of n, and this is o of alpha cube. Right? I don't know, man. How did I forget? I、uh, I talked about it. It's not even like I I just didn't even think about it. That happens a lot though. I think for me, maybe I'm getting old. Maybe that's what happens. But and I think that like it's very rare that I actually forget an edge case. Maybe not that rare. Still more than I would like. But but most of the time I actually thought about it and then I just forgot about it afterwards. I don't know. I don't know. It's because I'm talking. Is it because of these videos? I used to be better about this. I don't know. Is is it because I talk less or that I'm more focused? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do know that maybe I am a little bit tired, and I do need sleep. So I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, yeah. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.